everyone. Thanks so much for joining our webinar today. We're going to give everyone a few seconds to log in and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, I think everyone is in and we're going to go ahead and get it kicked off. I would like to formally welcome everybody to today's webinar where we're going to explore how the digitization has really elevated the importance of a data driven marketing model and how Systemsoft's omni-channel marketing attribution hub helps connect data and analytics to business value. My name is Laura Mayu. I am the marketing manager at Systemsoft Technologies. And on behalf of our teams at Systemsoft Technologies, Elysium Analytics, and our speakers, we wanna thank you for taking the time to join us today. Before we get started, I have just a couple of housekeeping items. Depending on your settings, the presentation you're currently viewing might look kind of small on your screen. Good news is um, if you go into the settings portion by clicking in the settings link below, you're able to maximize the screen. So feel free to take some time now to adjust your screen so that you can see it fully. And then lastly, we are also reserving some time for question and answer session at the end of the presentation. Feel free to submit your questions at any time you might have throughout the webinar by posting them through the chat window below. So I would like to take the opportunity to introduce our speakers. Today, we have Satisha Burry, who is the CTO of Elysium Analytics, and Krishna Kalaru, who is the Director of Marketing Technology and Strategy at Systemsoft Technologies. So Krishna, I'd love to go ahead and hand it over to you now, if you can give us a quick introduction and then go ahead and dive into the presentation. Sure, thank you so much, uh, Laura. So, uh, hi everyone, my name is Krishna Kalaru. I'm the Director of Marketing Technology and Strategy at Systemsoft Technologies. Uh, we're really ex uh, th thankful for you to uh, for joining this uh, webinar today and are really excited to share more details about our product. Satish, do you want to quickly introduce yourself, please? Yeah. Hi. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Satish Shapuri. I'm a CTO and founder for Elysium Analytics Company. Uh, I'm pretty glad to be here with our partner system soft right now to go over the marketing analytics solution. Thank you. Okay, so now let's go through the agenda uh, of what you will get to see today in, as part of our webinar. In our agenda, in our agenda today, we will be covering the problem and why it's critical to solve. Uh, we'll uh, discuss a few a few details about the current challenges that most industries and our organizations are facing today. We'll discuss a brief uh, uh, ideal solution that is ideal for most organizations and our industries. We will also be introducing our solution, which is the Omnichannel Marketing Attribution Hub. And uh, after that, we'll give you a brief demo of the platform to help you understand its capabilities and features. And then uh, we'll spend some time taking some questions and uh, hopefully answer your questions, uh, providing you with some valuable answers. So having said that, uh, I'll hand it off to Satish, who will walk us through the initial agenda, and then we'll uh, go through the rest of this uh, webinar. Sure. Thanks, Krishna. So uh, I just want to touch base initially, like, you know, so why, wh what's happening today in the industry, right? So, I mean, as we all know, like, you know, where we are today, it's, it's a digital world. It's everything is connected. And the whole perspective, like, you know, how things are looking today, like, you know, how it was before is totally changed. So how consumers are looking to shop and buy the goods and, and see what they want to buy is totally and how they engage with the products. Is a totally different dimension, like you know, where how it used to be in like you know, a 10 years back, and, and now things are changing every year. Like, you know, it's not like the change is coming every five years, the innovation is, is very fast now. So that's that's pretty much like you know what made this like you know this solution to address some of those problems, like you know, how we enable the coordinations to better handle those things. So as you see here, like, you know, uh, as you see, like most of the products are soft products also. So basically they can bought by like a couple of clicks and you get the product, you start using that one. So this is all enabled the way the internet has changed the whole uh, thing, like how things work and how, how things can be like, you know, designed and developed and delivered. So as you see the innovation creating like a lot of like, you know, a better experience and no uh, uh, things are changing to also give more challenges to the organizations, how they can sell the products and how to sell the products. So uh, that's where like, you know, the one of the thing like, you know, this really disrupted the consumers, like, you know, and, and to address this one, the organizations, I mean, there are a lot of point solutions are developed 
to address these things for the organizations, how to find the customers, how to reach the target audience. And, how, and there are so many channels today to reach the customers. I mean, if you see like in the digital world, people use the videos, blogs, emails, webinars, podcasts, websites, events, and they're more and more coming every day. And for each of these channels, they have like, you know, anywhere from 10 to 30 vendors, like, you know, how they provide their solutions. Our quick research shows like, you know, any typical organizations today is, pretty, is, is almost using 50 plus marketing SaaS applications to engage with the customers and to find the insights and all the things. So what this creating is now the data is distributed across multiple channels and multiple applications. So for any organizations to really understand, like, you know, how to see like you know, which channels are performing well, where their customers are getting better engagement, that's not an easy prospect. So you need to really connect all the dots. You need to pull all the data to like one centralized place and connect all the dots. That's the only way you get to know where you, where the uh, users are engaging better, like you know, where you need to improve, where we need to like cut the cost, where you need to spend. So it's, it's really important to get all these data points. So that's where like, you know, it's really, really critical to, to create a right data analytics platform for the marketing solution. So the problem is all around surrounding the data now. Okay. So uh, here are a quick uh, insights from uh, industry research. As you see, like, you know, there are two data points we took from Gartner and Salesforce. The left side is like, you know, from Salesforce. Uh, it's the main thing. There are so many points they have, uh, they have uh, put together. One of the main thing that we are seeing is like, you know, the, the whole marketing is pretty much spelled as data now. So it's all around the data. And one of the important point they identified is like, organizations are almost looking like increase their data sources 40% in next 12 months. On top of that, these insights needs to be continuous evolution. It's not like, you know, I created one insight dashboard that works forever. So it needs to be adaptable and agile and continuous evolve. And from one of the Gartner research shows the 60 to 70 percent of the team in the organization is spending on just integrating the data, managing the data. So if you have a solution which can address out of the box all this, so marketing can really focus on their thing, like you know, on the business side, where to improve, like you know, the performance and where to target. I think with this, I'll hand over to Krishna for really walk up, walk through our solution. Thank you, Satish. Thank you. So uh, from here, we'll we will be talking about marketing automation transform, which basically uh, is about omni-channel analytics, providing insights that you need about the customer to provide personalized experience to the uh, customers. In order to achieve that, one, uh, you would need analytics capabilities, which are basically through, uh, with, through descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive methods, extract all the insights needed for targeted marketing. Because one of the key things that you would be able to do with analytics capabilities is understand different segments about the customers, uh, which are which are like uh, value uh, segments, propensity segments, risk segments, as well as um, um, uh, uh, behavioral segments. Like what uh, the, these segments lead to is, it helps you basically understand more about the customer, about what is the most likely product that the customer is uh, likely to purchase next or what is the offer that really entices the customers or who is our va most valuable customer if you're looking at building a life lifetime value with the customers or what is the most likely purchase in terms of a product or categories and uh, what are the channels to which these customers will likely respond in a more favorable way and if there is also a risk when we talk about risk segments uh, one of the things that we need to consider about understanding our customers is who is that the valuable customer who is most likely to abandon or unsubscribe from a subscription service or services that are part of the organization and who's most likely to churn because one of the key aspects of many organizations is to make sure the customer retention is uh, sustainable and is long term because the amount of investment that is needed to acquire a new customer is way more expensive compared to what it is needed to retain a customer. So we really need to understand our customers in the most appropriate and best way possible to ensure that we don't lose customers, but we continue to build lifetime value. So underlying these analytics capabilities, you need a data management platform that really feeds all this information to have these capabilities. And what this platform basically comprises of is integration of all the marketing sales customer data. Like Satish mentioned earlier, we have 
comp organizations that are moving to 40 plus data sources with all the agencies that they engage with and apart from different marketing and uh, creative and other technology platforms that they use within the organization. So there is a lot of data across different systems, but then providing insights with ease and helping executives and or other organization, uh, people in the organization understand the data and get the insights needed about the customer is something that this management platform needs to provide in terms of capabilities. And what does this platform and capabilities do uh, as a result? It helps you understand your customer really from a 360 degrees point of view. And it also creates relevant and personalized experience for the customer. So they really engage with the brand. They understand that the brand really understands the life cycle. A good example of really personalizing the customer and understanding your customer 360 view is, say for example, uh, you have someone who's bought a, a Nike uh, Beats or some shoes uh, that just uh, released in the market. You really do not, do not want to send an email or marketing content to the same customer about similar shoes that are launching in the upcoming weeks or months you rather send an email communication to the customer about products that complete the look kind of a thing, like which really understand uh, fit into the life cycle of the customer's uh, product purchase history and make sure that the customer really feels that the brand understands their journey and or life cycle and really personalizes the experience so that they continue to build lifetime value. So, what uh, this needs is a unique customer value solution. So what we did was we took some of the common challenges and, uh, and our needs of different organizations and industry, as you can see on the left hand side, and what the outputs that our solution will be able to provide to address some of these needs and challenges. So we'll go through those here. Uh, one of the challenges and our needs are marketing data like unlimited scale. So like we talked about in the previous slide, we need to understand the customer from all angles to ensure we understand if the customer is more promotion driven, offer driven, coupon, uh, like um, channel driven, category driven, or is the customer purchasing something for themselves or are they purchasing things for themselves and their families? Uh, so we really need to understand the life cycles of the customers and ensure that we get a complete view of uh, the customers. And you also need a cloud native solution, something that is easy to add and auto updates rather than manual deployments and operational uh, work that uh, creates an overload for different organizations. And the last one is the improved operational efficiency where you need democratization of data with a number of organizations uh, having a lot of employee, employee churn rates as well as uh, consolidation uh, need for consolidation of data you definitely need to improve the operational efficiency where you have a single source that provides you insights by collecting data from different data sources and easy to understand, easy to update so that it's easy for uh, internal uh, customers to really understand the needs of the external customer. So what this product that we've built the Omnichannel Marketing Hub uh, really does is it provides you out of the box actionable insights where it gives you campaign performance. Say for example, you run a campaign across different channels like Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, Twitter, email, and or webinars as well. You will get a campaign performance across all your channels out of the box. Second, you can integrate with any source. We already have 50 plus sources available out of the box with the integration platform that we are leveraging today. So if there are any additional data sources that are not within the existing catalog, we would be able to integrate with any kind of a data source within a matter of days and have make it easy for, uh, for consolidating the data into the data lake and providing you all the insights needed for better customer experience. And this particular product that we are talking about is a SaaS self-service one with zero operations. So it's easy to register, easy to sign up, easy to connect your data sources and look at all the insights needed to get a 360 degree view of the customers. So to discuss a little bit uh, briefly about the platform that we are, uh, that under, is underlying this particular product is, uh, it's basically data that we are collecting from different data sources, which could be structured, semi-structured or unstructured. And what we are doing it is we are pushing it into the data access layer, which exists in the data access layer. Right now we are working on Snowflake, but we, we have the capabilities to work on AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. 
and we can create alerts, search dashboards. And again, these dashboards can be uh, connected to either Looker, Tableau, Power BI, and as part of the roadmap uh, for our product in the future, we also uh, plan to have that visualization available in Google Data Studio as well, which is a product that most organizations are also using these days. So having uh, uh, discussed uh, a little bit about the product and underlying architecture and uh, uh, systems, now we'll go jump into the platform right away to understand a little bit more about the capabilities and features. So once you land on the website, you click on try for free. Uh, once you uh, click on that one, it'll ask you some basic information for like your first name, last name, email address, Uh, your geographic location, your phone number, time zone, and your title, uh, because we would leverage this information to both uh, follow up with you on any additional information that would be helpful to you as well as be able to kind of implement role-based security so that uh, certain information may be needed for certain people within the organizations while rest of the information should be accessible only for certain executives. So once you've uh, uh, signed up for the free trial, you'll receive an email asking you to validate your email address. And once you click on the link, you'll be able to uh, enter your password, confirm your password, and then you hit sign up. So once you sign up, you just log in with the, the same username and password that you entered and you're in the platform already. So now you click on the app store and then you click on the app that you need uh, in this. Uh, you can uh, install all the apps that you need as that are part of your organization. So once you go there, you click on connectors. So now we'll connect our uh, Google SEO uh, platform and uh, as soon as you enter your credentials, it validates the credentials and it's connected. So similarly, we will follow the same process for Twitter. So the Twitter uh, app is authorized. And then once that authorization is complete, you will see that uh, the uh, connectors page will show Twitter as connected. Similarly, we'll go ahead and do it for LinkedIn. We sign in with your account. Uh, in uh, certain uh, cases, you could probably log in with your organizational account, but uh, in this particular case, we just logged in with uh, the account that has administrative access. So once you're done with that, you navigate to feed management. So what we are doing here is we are triggering the feeds for pulling the last 30 days of data for the data sources that we just connected to provide you all the insights that you need right away out of the box. So once you trigger the feed, you will see a message with a few technical job details that would be helpful for you. And then it automatically lands you on the job detail page to show you the status of the job. Depending on the volume of the data, the jobs could vary anywhere uh, from three to five uh, minutes. So if we uh, trigger the feed a couple of times, say for example, a couple of users from the same organization really trigger the feeds, you will see that the time taken for the second user obviously is less because the amount of data that it has to be pulled is comparatively less. So as part of this uh, demo, we are going ahead and triggering the third job, which is LinkedIn. And you see all the jobs are running and we are pulling all the data from the data sources based on the credentials entered into the data lake for providing all the insights that we need. So here we can see Twitter is successful. So the job is complete. So we'll go ahead and uh, look at the Twitter dashboard. So we provide some of the key KPIs that are needed for Twitter, like followers, uh, engagement rate, impressions, retweets, likes, clicks, some of the key KPIs that most marketing teams will look at for Twitter campaigns. So now we go back and check the status of uh, our other jobs. LinkedIn is also complete. So we'll go ahead and check uh, the LinkedIn dashboard where you have total followers gain, total engagement, likes, 
uh, impressions versus unique impressions, campaign performance, last top five, last five campaign performances. And now we'll just go ahead and check the job detail, uh, job status for uh, Google SEO. So we can see Google SEO job is complete. So now we'll be navigating back to the dashboard and looking at our SEO dashboard. So here you can see some of the key KPIs from an SEO standpoint, where you see your CTR, average uh, position, impressions, clicks, uh, landing page uh, URLs, all the parameters that you need from an SEO standpoint. So now we'll go ahead and uh, try a couple more uh, data sources. Uh, the main purpose is to help understand uh, how to uh, help uh, how to view uh, cross campaign uh, performance like i discussed in the earlier part of the webinar so we are going ahead and uh, connecting our sprout social and google analytics platforms which uh, basically manages the social media management and web uh, uh, analytics uh, related uh, platform so once the data sources are connected we will follow the same process where you go to feed management and trigger the feeds for google analytics and sprout social So again, depending on the volume of the data, you will see that it could vary uh, by a few minutes in terms of uh, when the job completes. So now we'll go ahead and trigger Sprout Social. So right now we're looking at uh, cross campaign performance, as you can see, uh, for example, uh, when you, are, you have Sprout Social platform that is uh, tracking all your social media management and everything, and then you have other webinar platforms like BrightTalk. So we are consolidating all the data sources and pulling it into, into the data lake, and we are providing cross-campaign platform performance. In this particular case, uh, we are uh, looking at uh, cross-campaign performance for a few uh, campaigns that were run across different systems. So uh, as you can see here, you will be looking at uh, how many people uh, registered for the webinars, how many people uh, looked at live webinars versus on-demand webinars. And you can see different uh, metrics uh, that are critical for understanding cross-campaign performances. Okay, so uh, moving on to the next one. Um, So now that we are done with, uh, we went through the platform and uh, uh, understood a little bit about the capabilities and features, we will also uh, uh, go ahead and discuss a few details about our integration platform, which basically has some of these out of the box connectors. So I'll hand it off to Satish to go through these details and then uh, uh, we'll talk through further. Satish? Yeah. So uh, basically, as you see here, like, you know, we, we bundle like, you know, one of the leading product Boomi with our uh, platform, uh, which is iPaaS platform. What it gives is like, you know, it opens like, you know, bunch of connectors out of the box, which are like 400 plus data connectors and quite a few marketing connectors in that one. And just not the connectors what we have. And we can also build like, you know, quickly any API integration connector, like, you know, in a couple of days. So that's the flexibility and the luxury we have using this platform out of the box. So again, that's where I think that's what like, you know, with, with using this, that's what like, you know, Krishna has walked you through, like, you know, how we have the connectors integrated and most of them are self-service. And as we speak, we're adding more and more every month, adding more connectors out of the box. Thanks, Krishna. You can take. Thank you so much, Satish. Okay, so uh, once uh, since we've gone through the platform and uh, briefly, and then we talked about uh, the problem statement, we've talked about an ideal solution. We've also talked about uh, 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 the capabilities and features of the platform and then the underlying integration. Now let's talk about some of the unique capabilities and differentiators that this product has compared to similar uh, products uh, out there in the market. One of the key things is democratization of data. So the, this is uh, the only middleware that has a business model built for the enterprise. So if you have a CRM system like Microsoft Dynamics 365, if you have a, 
a finance system like Dynamics GP, if you have physical location uh, systems like Square Up, or if you have social media management like Sprout Social, or you have individual Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter platforms where you are managing the, the data sources. So no matter where you uh, where the data lies, this uh, particular product is built with middleware that has a business model for all systems. So if you have your sales uh, data coming into your CRM Dynamics 365 with leads, opportunities, accounts, and all that information, we would be able to consolidate all the data and we will be able to provide you with uh, what are the uh, leads that are prospective, uh, have high prospects of uh, converting into an account, into an opportunity. And we will be providing you the channel through which these top uh, prospects are engaging with the brand and trying to convert into an opportunity. So that way, the sales, marketing, and uh, other uh, teams can really put together a strategy that is critical for reaching out to the customers through the channel of their choice uh, with the information that they are looking for to be able to convert these leads into good opportunities that are prospective for the organization. Moving on to data granularity, which is the other differentiator. This has deep dimensional coverage. It also includes geos. So some of the, one of the reasons why we request you for geographic information and other things at the time of registering and uh, throughout the process is we would like to create segments, like I mentioned earlier, like Another example of uh, you know insights that are critical for organizations are say for example you have an organization like UG and they have different marketing strategies across different uh, uh, geographic locations. For example, if there is a particular geographic location where there is snowing, you would probably be trying to market or send marketing communications about uh, winter wear products versus other locations where other geographical parts of the country where you would probably be selling regular sandals and or uh, shoes. So the marketing strategies of organization needs to vary based on the geographic uh, aspects of the customer. So consolidating all that information and providing uh, creating segments and providing those insights to these organizations to have a good marketing strategy in place is something that this product really uh, thrives to deliver. Moving on to the next differentiator, which is extensibility and flexibility. Our tools are designed to make your data work where and how you want it visualized. Like I mentioned earlier, right now, we would be able to uh, visual, provide visualizations in Looker, Tableau, and Power BI. Uh, we are also working as part of a roadmap to, be, to make it available in Data Studio as well, because some of the organizations across the country have uh, Google Analytics 360, which has inbuilt Google Data Studio subscription. So, uh, we would be able to. Uh, we will be able to in the future provide visualizations on Google Data Studio as well. The next one is self-service. So as we talked about in a in a few slides uh, uh, prior, the connectors are for mul multiple marketing platform integrations. No matter what the marketing platform is and what the data source is, if we do not have it, as I mentioned earlier, we will be able to build it for you within days uh, because of. Uh, the capabilities of our integration platform as well as our, our ability to kind of integrate with any data source within a matter of days. So next steps in terms of uh, uh, marketing attribution uh, hub is um, who will need this? So some of the IT business leaders who have data access, uh, accessibility with accurate validated data they will be looking for this uh, kind of a pro product. Uh, it basically who are looking for reduced time to gather, transform, and process customer data. So it's less operational effort and trying to get insights needed to put better marketing and uh, customer strategies in place. Enterprise strategic view of overall marketing performance. So someone who's looking for rather than a silo digital marketing performance, which is some of the things that other products in the market are currently offering today where they're primarily focused on either B2B or digital marketing connectors, uh, digital marketing platforms. So this is something that uh, will be able to provide insights for enterprise uh, uh, products or platforms and technologies. It also uh, is for people who are looking for personalization and campaign optimization to ensure they invest in the right platforms and in the right strategies to provide better experience to the customers. It reduces 
marketing reduced marketing expenses and customer acquisition costs so obviously the objective primary objective of most organizations is to uh, ha- acquire customers with re- good amount of investment that is really optimal for the campaign without uh, investing in campaigns that are not providing the return on ad spend as needed or as forecasted by the organization so it is to optimize your investments in the right channels to provide the best and needed experience for the customers and convert them into uh, loyal customers and build a lifetime value with them increased customer engagement and uh, retention um, again like we just talked about it uh, it's about building lifetime value about the customer where if you have a customer who's not made a purchase in the last 30 days or 60 days or 90 days you kind of build a, a with the insights that uh, uh, some of the insights that we will be able to provide right you will be able to build a life cycle grid kind of a thing for a customer to really help understand customer engagement in the last one year and beyond to put a strategy in place both in terms of pricing promotional and marketing strategy to help reach out to the customer to uh, have them continuously engaged in the brand as well as become the kind of the brand ambassador because like i mentioned in the second point where it's a uh, third one which talks about enterprise strategic view this is about consolidating data no matter what the channel is so we're not just talking about a customer who is uh, responding to an email or just uh, retweeting one of the tweets uh, for a particular campaign that was uh, published this is about customer who is probably entering our physical locations this is about customers who are accessing uh, the apps from their mobile phones and this is also about customers who are digital savvy and accessing these things more from uh, digitally in terms of uh, like facebook and other channels so no matter where the customer is accessing from we are uh, able to consolidate and ensure that the customer is loyal and we build uh, help organizations build lifetime value so that they continue to thrive with uh, loyal customers what do we provide so as part of the process in terms of next steps what we will be doing is we will be doing discovery analysis so we will try to dig a deep, little deeper into your uh, technology data uh, technology platforms to really understand the gaps in any data so, uh, data sources if any because we already have most of the data sources kind of within the catalog so if there are any data sources that are out of uh, the catalog so we will do a discovery analysis to understand what it takes to integrate with those data sources we will do a demo of the solution and uh, build a proof of concept uh, uh, built around your technologies and your needs based on the requirements that you communicate with us and we will also be doing a cost assessment to help you understand how much effort it would how much it would cost to kind of build the product of that would really fit into your organizations including any operational cost such as cloud storage and other things how long does this take this basically we will be having a one hour discovery call followed by a proof of concept planning session based on the discovery so we are between those two calls and any other follow up emails we will be able to give you uh, the much needed information both in terms of effort cost and the final product that uh, really fits into your organizations so uh, uh, having said that uh, we would like to really thank you so much for joining our webinar today and at this point of time we would like to go ahead and take any questions All right, thank you so much Satisha and Krishna. You shared some really valuable information with our audience today. Uh we do have a few questions that came in through the chat which we'll go ahead and go through and um if you haven't had a chance to enter a question, feel free to do that now. Um so the first question that came in is around it says can each user have a unique dashboard and can certain metrics be hidden from other specific users? I'll take that question um uh Laura so yes so uh, users can be uh, uh deferred by access basically like one of the things that I mentioned in the beginning of the registration process if a user uh, is able to provide their role in the organization and other uh, details as part of the process of registration we will be able to implement role based security to ensure that certain users have access to the information they need while others have additional access as needed based on their role so we will be able to implement that that's great to hear um the next question is what type of data sources are supported by the platform so uh i can take that one satish 
Go ahead. Yeah, I'll take that one. So uh, as I showed earlier, right, some of the data sources that are already available out of the box uh, include Sprout Social, CRM Dynamics 365, Dynamics GP, uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, so we have a bunch of data sources that are really critical for Square App. Uh, for physical locations. Uh, so we have a, like we said, enterprise, right? We have connectors across different systems that are already part of the catalog. Um, and as I mentioned in the slides uh, towards the end, we would be able to integrate with any data source within a matter of days and be able to provide the insights needed. Um, certainly very flexible. Okay, and um, I think our last question here is, does this include a way to manage leads? and? would it eliminate the need for a different platform so we can integrate with some of the leads uh, platforms like optimove and our other systems that are out there in the market in terms of sales uh, leads uh, enable sales enablement platforms but if your crm dynamics uh, crm platform be it dynamics or some other system if that also has all your sales leads uh, information available we will be able to provide segmented information about potential leads that could be converting into opportunities, the insights that you need, so that, uh, and also with the channels through which these top uh, leads are engaged with the brand, like prospective leads, so that you can reach out to the customer through the channel of their choice and make sure they convert into an opportunity. All right, great, thanks for explaining that. Certainly a very robust solution. I think that is about the time we have for Q&A today. If um, certainly if you didn't get to one of the questions you submitted or um, you have any further questions, you know, feel free to reach out to Satish or Krishna and we'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, you know, feel free to go out to check out to our website with, for more information as well at sstech.us. And we really want to thank you again for joining us today. We hope you found the webinar helpful and insightful, and we really look forward to connecting with you soon. Have a great day.